Trash on beaches, invasive plants, ruined ecosystems, history being lost. What can we do? Hey, it's Brandon, and I'm inviting you to step off the sidelines, get your hands dirty, and turn your next outing on Oahu into something that leaves this place better than you found it. Let me show you how. My son and I spent our summer volunteering and understanding what is available for visitors and locals to get involved with. Before you book your vacation or weekend activity, consider scheduling a volunteer day. You will be surprised with the exclusive access to off-limit areas and the direct connection to people who understand these places on a level you will never forget. Waimea Valley is first on my list. You might already be looking at visiting this spot during your vacation, and rightly so, but here is an opportunity to visit some of the hidden spots way up on the ridge above the park. Volunteers took a short 45 minute hike into the valley and up onto the ridge line. The guy that was with us dropped knowledge on me like an in-season mango tree in Palolo. So not only do you get some exercise, but you learn things about this place that most locals don't even know about. Once we reached the top, we gloved up and started removing invasive plants, followed by planting of a variety of native ones. On the way back down, I really got to see the fruit of the labor from those that came before me. Large sections planted and growing with native plants. It was a wonderful feeling to be a part of something like this. The final bonus is that you have access to the park for free and you probably got prime parking because you arrived early. Very nice. The next spot I volunteered at was the Battleship Missouri Memorial. An impressive battleship needs an impressive amount of upkeep and attention to detail. If you want to keep our history alive and in tip-top shape, then put this one at the top of your list. I parked at the USS Arizona Memorial parking and took the free shuttle over. With options to clean brass, remove banners, and sand the newly laid teak floors, I opted for the labor on all fours. After breaking a sweat and making some progress, I was dropped into a tour group at no cost to learn about this amazing memorial. Then off to a tour of some of the unique spots on the ship, I felt like an underdressed VIP covered with teak dust. Finish the day with ice cream or popsicle, grab your volunteer pin for a discount at the shops and feel like a million bucks knowing what you accomplished. If you want all the details on these volunteer opportunities, I have a link in the description that goes to an article with all the sign-up forms, instructions, and additional links. Next up was Papahana Kuaola. This volunteer opportunity took me to the Ahupua of Heia. Think of a lush green valley, native plants, kala growing, and a healthy stream running through it. We went deep into a section of the stream to remove some invasive plants along the edge. It was hard work, but many hands made quick work of it. We took a walk around the valley afterwards for a bit, saw some kalo growing in the lo'i, and then we drank from the freshwater spring that feeds the entire valley. If you want to see what is happening on Oahu at a grassroots level while supporting an organization that is very well run, this may be an option for you. Next up is the Coloco Inlet Restoration. Have you hiked the Makapu'u Lighthouse Trail? As you head up and you gaze down to your right, you'll see the coastline and notice just how beautiful it is. There's a lot of history down there and a lot of hands are needed to remove the invasive species and plant native species in their place. Run by 808 Cleanups, the group leader here is an amazing source of information and new things about this area that you can't find anywhere else. Hand tools and power tools are on full display here, so not for the faint of heart. After planting and watering, we took a walk along the coastline, learned the history and the meaning of why this place is so special. I also learned we have a bee that is native to Hawaii. I did not know this. So much I did not know and so much more for me to learn. Then I headed over to the Heia Fish Pond. All roads lead to the ocean and volunteering here shows how important it is to take care of all the important spaces on Oahu. My son and I grabbed some weed whackers and set off for a couple of hours, clearing a quite large space. 
others removed invasive plants, and others helped build rock walls. There is literally an invasive forest here of mangroves, and we did our best to push it back a few more feet. Seeing the progress of those who came before reminded me of how important volunteering today and tomorrow is. A walk around the fish pond wrapped up our day along with learning about the history of this place and why it is so important to preserve. Last on my list is Kako'o o Iwi. For those of you that want to get into the mud, literally, and not only see how things were done in the past, but actually do it, I think you will like this volunteer opportunity. Meet at the processing center and take a short ride out among the dozens of lo'i in the area and join up with the crew. We were harvesting kalo on this visit and that meant getting into the mud, using your feet to break the roots, and getting dirty. No need for an expensive mud spa treatment when you can get it for free here. After clearing out about a quarter of the patch, we cleaned up and called it a day. Great experience, great organization, highly recommend. I enjoyed sharing these places with you and I look forward to sharing many more. If I don't see you out volunteering, I'll see you in the lobby.